so. You there, hello! How are you? I know you. Mr. I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, I, oh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh... Well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rainsfall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. <laughs> you have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger. And we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, no. but we're very desperate. No, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> 
There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Come on. Is there some problem here? <laughs> There we go.
On a man with no sight. Help the blind. Earn your fortune. Maybe earn your fortune. Maybe today is the beginning of the end. Help a blind man. Have this. Your father is seduced by the one with the forked tongue. It's no use hoping. Uh, sure. Okay, mister. <laughs> All the best now. I have nothing more for you now. Go use what you know. Don't end up like me. Hey there, girl. Yep. Okay there.
Okay then, girl. Yeah, what is that thing they're smoking anyway? Beats me. Sure don't look like tobacco. <laughs> Come on, mister. It's there on a plate. He's missing all the cues. There's only so much canoodle in a self-respecting fa- Let's get out of here. Oh, well, let's see. Now. I feel so light and heavy at the same time. Have I told love you birds. what an amazing woman you are? Oh, but God. you are. Let us be free and wild and bad, my dear. Let us. Make love like love has never been made before. Uh, uh, let me take you to the cloud. Hey, I'm looking for some fellas sojourned around here. Boy Calloway and a rider called Levin. Drunk Boy Calloway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in Saint Denis. Had rooms on a riverboat there. Saint Denis on a riverboat? Uh, okay, then. I wouldn't drink here, though. Get on to Sam Denis and have you some Sazerac. If there's anything else...
best I can do. You let me know. Hell, there's a face I haven't seen in some time. What's wrong with this world? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See, even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here, to somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep Seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Uh, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. <laughs> Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. Okay. Shoot, sir, while our courage holds. Now, <laughs> you got mine, and I barely even flinched. What are you supposed to do? Try not to kill anybody. You can shoot, can't you? Over here, sir. Good shot. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Please, this creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. We're waiting for you, mister. Fire away! Ready? Aim. Fire! <laughs> oh! He got it! Of course! Good shot, sir! And now for me! You're such silly man! There it goes! <laughs> now I'll stand on one leg! Me too! You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast! He emerged fully formed from the swamps, Helen! Silence, you blackguard! Sir, shoot the wretch! You're deranged. Shoot away, sir, my bottle and his brains, if you please. At least I have brains. Don't think too much about it. Just shoot. <laughs> Why? I must be the bravest man I know. Shoot mine. Oh. <laughs> Excellent. Whew. Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. Huh? For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Oh, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. Too much, too much. Nope, my sweet.
Hey, partner. Let's go, girl. Off that horse. Easy. I'm getting now. How about you get them hands? Easy, whoa.
Easy. have always been better bad news in here. Please remove it. Okay, there. Open the register right now. All right, all right. Just, just let me open this till up. Not so fast. Baseman, I want to see what you got cooking down there. Well, that ain't nothing. Just a little batch of white lightning to warm the old bones. Take me down there. Down this way, uh, uh, like I say, no, nothing to see really, just a, just a little drop on the side. I'll be the judge of that. You can see it ain't much, really. Just a, a couple of old stills, nothing, nothing worth taking. Now, you gotta have some money stashed away down here somewhere. Money? If only. I, I'm sorry, mister. I, I think all this just probably looks more than it is. It's it, more of a hobby than anything else. So, shall we go on back upstairs now? This is more than just a small batch, my friend. You got a wholesale operation running here. I wouldn't go that far. Show me where the money is. I ain't gonna ask you twice. Okay! Okay! Uh, th th there's a loose brick in the wall by the still. That's better. <laughs> Stay away from me, please. You don't need to 
take it all. Men like you make me sick. You think you can take whatever you want? Well, I'll be. All right, stranger. Okay, girl.
This ain't right at all. Hey now. Come on, come on. Put your backs into You're looking at the pride of the Moine here. The great Corrigan paddle saver. Hey, now I'm looking for Boyd Calloway and the man writing a book about him. This the riverboat they're staying on? Yes, sir, they're here. Around this time, Mr. Calloway usually enjoying a drink on the observation deck. You can follow me. If you're quick, you might catch him sober. Oh, my friend with no name. You found us. Sure. How did you get on? About how you'd expect. Well, any good anecdotes? Anecdotes? From the old days. Well, uh, to be honest, Things went a little differently. Uh, I did shoot a lot of people. I, I thought that's sort of what you wanted. Well, I'd, uh... <clears throat> yes, that'll be fine. Do you think anyone noticed it was you? Noticed? I think the people I shot noticed. I mean, do you think anyone would mind if I... if we said he'd done it? Boy Calloway. Sure, I don't care. Just as long as... I... Share the money? Of course I will. <laughs> Literature is a filthy business, but sometimes it pays well. Especially when you lie. Great. That's a goddamn fest! What the hell's going on here? Uh, nothing. Who's this Grassney? Uh, you know, I don't know. Have you been being me? I'm nobody, buddy. Well, I'm somebody! <laughs> and I can't have any nobody being this somebody, you goddamn... Get, I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, it ain't nothing I want to be, so you can't be me. What a way with words. Oh, damn you, Theodore Levin. You're a snake. Damn you. Hey, damn you, nobody. Hey, I'm already damned. Oh, God. But I can't take credit for that, which I... Damn says I didn't. I... I'm an old man. Just never happened to Achilles, to Gawain, to Caesar. It can't happen to me. I'm gonna kill them both here. Yeah, calm down. I'm a legend! Yes, you are. <sighs> all right, all right, well, let's prove it one more time. I don't have to prove nothing to you, nobody. No, of course you don't, but maybe you need to prove something to you. <laughs> you got quite a way with the words. Maybe uh, you should write my book and we should kill Plato here! No, 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 no. <laughs> Let, let's not. Now, come on. Who shall we kill? I mean, you kill, I mean. Ah, damn. I slayed my dragons years ago. I'm a tired old man. Ah, uh, now, you're drunk and you're bored yeah. and you're a mess. Well, I always hated Slim Grant. Oh, he killed my cousin. But that was years ago. Well, where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is him. An old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now, out of Annisburg. State marshal? Make a damn cousin killer state marshal, do they? All right, I'll go get him. Great. We'll wait for you at Brandywine Drop. All right, just sober up and start practicing. Otherwise, this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. Yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like that fella. 